Okay, welcome back to Subnautica. I um, I got mods working again, and I'd like to show you my uh, torturous process for that. It was uh, quite humorous. Uh, I was a little disappointed to see the Q mods isn't being supported anymore because Subnautica moved to the uh, to the Unity engine that Sub Zero was built in. Uh, so I, I discovered the uh, the Bipinex mods. And uh, to understand that, I uh, did a search on YouTube for somebody that might be able to explain it. And I found uh, a video by Leviathan Kraken. And I, I watched his video. And I downloaded a uh, Bipinex. Is it? There. And um, he explained how to set it up. But he omitted a little bit of information, so I kind of got a little confused. Because when you, you first uh, bring these files over in Subnautica, first thing you do, but uh, it doesn't generate all the folders until after you run the game once, but I didn't realize that. So when I uh, started adding mods, it did so in this plugins folder inside the Subnautica data folder. And uh, when I launched the game and the mods weren't working. So I came back, I exited out of the game, and I looked back in here and saw that it generated the folders. So that was that was something that he forgot to mention, that uh, these folders won't appear until after you run the game once, after you install it. So after I did that, then I moved all of the mods over into this folder. And then... Um, <clears throat> The game crashed on me, but that was because I also moved this folder with it, and uh, so I had to put this one back in order to get the game to work again. So yeah, I was being pretty boneheaded through the entire process, but um, so I wanted to, you know, give him a shout out for you know his tutorial and uh, to mention that. Also, I want to give a shout out to Alexia twenty five thirty four who made a post under his video that uh, explained all of that. And, and if I had read the post first, then uh, I wouldn't have had such a headache figuring it out for myself. But I wanted to make sure that I, I pointed out to both of them, you know, that I appreciate both of them, his video and her comment, that uh, made the process less painful for me in the end. So thank you both very much. And um, I'll make sure that I put a link in the description for... Leviathan Kraken's video because <clears throat> it was very helpful and uh yeah and definitely read uh Alexia's post that was also very helpful but thank you both very much and uh now I can get on with my uh adventure here let's see what else did I do after I got the mods working look at this oh that's so much nicer I got four storage components uh, depth module, I upgraded that to Mark II. Got the sonar, solar charger. I'm not sure if these stack. Do they stack? Well, I put those in there anyway. And also, let's see if I could damage this thing now. Welcome aboard Carol Systems Online. And I still take damage, but that's okay. I think I take less damage. Welcome aboard, Captain. But I also got the charger. And now it does uh, this repairs as well as uh, charges, so that's very, very convenient. And you can also see that I got the uh, quick slots down there. Also very cool. And uh, the only other thing I got, I think, was uh, the easy craft. So I don't have to go fumbling around looking for things just uh, to put them away. Uh, auto sort lockers doesn't appear to work with this yet with the Bibinex, or maybe I didn't do it right, but I couldn't I couldn't get it working. But uh, I'm not exactly super bright when it comes to modding, so that might be the problem. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, let's see. Do anything else? I don't think I did anything else. 
the radio. This is life pod seven. Coordinates attached. Pod is structurally sound, but the fabricators bust. Requesting assistance. Seven out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Yeah. Where is it? In the data bank. Oh. I think I know where that is. See if I can find it. Odd seven. All it roars over fire. there. It's gotta be this way somewhere. We gotta go down there anyway and get the, um... What are they called? Well, I know what it is. You know, I mean, the, the purple bus sacks or whatever they are. We can make the aerogel. I'll remember when I see them. Subnautica has an absolutely top-notch community. Very helpful people. Sorry! Jaggy rocks. Is that it? That's it. Five seven. Look at that, we found it. Back off, man. Back off. Make me ram you. Oops. Ah, that's the ground. All right. Stay away from me. I'll stay away from you. And do it. Just gonna hang out around that pod, are you? Make me stab you. I've tried everything. The analysis circuits on the <laughs> fabricator are fried. You can barely manufacture the most basic of materials. Want a battery? Here, have a children's toy. Need deep sea diving equipment? Have some lab tech. Hungry? I'll turn that fruit into dust for you going forward with trial and error. I hit every button here, it's got to make something useful eventually. Markiplier, right? 
We have to craft him? He's a craftable? No way. Did he be listed? There he is. He's a whole plate. Unusual doll. <laughs> what? What do you want? Can I scan you? I need from there. Yeah, around here. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Hey, hey. Holy crap. Beat up my uh bee moth. Really? A oh, rude. Okay. Going to that one yet? Oh, that's on the other side. Five hundred meters down, as far as we can go. Gel sacks, that's what they're called. We're gonna find gel sacks. Got a bunch of rubies while we're down here. What's in there? Caves. I like caves. There we go. Membrane. Grab all the jewels. Is there a Leviathan around here? I guess when we find the plans for the nuclear power plant, we'll be able to make our own nuclear rods. Welcome aboard, Captain. We can find some more gel sacks. Oh, there's Warper.
Well, we might have to get the next upgrade before we can actually get to the base, huh? Oop. Yeah. I ain't swimming past them. Oh, crap. Yeah, we'll come back for that. We got one gel sack. We can start growing some. We need to make the next upgrade, I wonder. Dangerous. There's only one gel sack around here. Oh, there we go. somewhere in this area. Unable to confirm whether it originated on the Aurora. I guess that's it for now. Ouch. Okay, we got what we need for the air gel. Deep shrooms. Where do we get those? They're down there, huh? See if I can sneak past everybody and get some shrooms. I think they're down there. Get away from the crabby mabby dudes. Warper screaming at me. Oh crap! Freaking Leviathan. See any of the shrooms? Any deeper? Quick look around, see if I can find some deep shrooms.
Warper. I thought there were only like nine Warpers. Seem to be all over the place. Oh wait, Deep Shrooms are down by the Lost River, huh? Not gonna find them here. Hot! Hot! Base. Oh, it's over there. All right, let's see if we can get to the base then. Stay away from me, warpers. I knew there was going to be a crab. Stay away from me, crab. chasing me. Base. There's water in the exterior compartment. Oh, that's another thing I can get. The easy access thing. Wait, do I have it? Oh, it comes with it. Sweet. Go for me! Cyclops tore a hole clear through the reinforced hull. Better got a breather in time. I told her. I said others would come. Integrating the ADA data. Clear of the habitat. 
And the monster turned and bore down on me. And just as its tentacles came within reach, Maynard appeared out of nowhere. She had a sea glide in one hand, a jagged piece of scrap metal in the other. She meant to butcher that beast or die trying. The last I saw her, she had the metal lodged in its neck as the monster did its best to shake her, contorting off into the dark. Integrating new PDA data. So she got her wish, one way or another. Then I thought I saw a light deep below me. I hope maybe God have swapped clear. New blueprint. Acquired. I followed it. Now I wonder whether I saw anything at all. My oxygen is low. The habitat is gone. I can't see the sky. Something Warning. surely Maximum has the scent of my blood. Fall damage imminent. Integrating new PDA data. New blueprint acquired. Okay, well, I uh, had a little trouble with the video after the Seamoth got destroyed and I made it back to the surface. Uh, the video footage from there till now was corrupt. So, here's what happened. I came back, I set up Markiplier and gave him a hat. I uh, put up the car. Let's see, what else did I do? I started growing the, the gel sacks out there. I rebuilt the sea moth. Oh yeah, I was out of lithium. So I had to go all the way back to the gun island. And I, and I swam around through the caves. And I grabbed up a bunch more lithium and got lost in the caves. So I drowned. Then I had to swim back and uh, gather up all my stuff again. Grab some more lithium. And I redid the mods. See, that's about all. It, yeah, you didn't miss a whole lot. Uh, did I do anything else? <clears throat> Can't remember if I did this, but uh. I made the reinforced dive suit. Um, I don't think I did anything else. Anywho. Yeah, for you guys, that was just like a second ago because I'm, I'm splicing that video and this one together because that one was too short. So we're just going to do a couple more things. This is Life Pod 4. We've landed close to the Aurora. Flotation device is active, but we've got some big old fish in the water with us, and I don't know how long we're gonna last. We're close to the crash site, so bring radiation protection. Four out. Yeah, we're ready. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. 
already did that. So, gonna have a look around, see if we can find the rest of the Cyclops. Maybe see if we can find a wreck or two. Find the prawn arm, uh, the grapple arm, and the drill. And we can make the prawn suit, maybe. That'd be nice. Yeah, because nothing else really happened. After I made it back to the surface, I started coming back here to rebuild this thing. And I was out of lithium, so I had to go get lithium, and then I drowned, and yeah, it was it was a pretty bad time. Losing the sea moths was uh, kind of dumb on my part, but uh. There's a whole bunch of parts around here. Nothing. Let's go check up here. They're not down here. They should be up on the hill then. deterrent module. Something else we're going to have to make. Let's check around the back. We need uh, one more engine piece, two more bridge pieces, and one more hull piece. I think that's all we need. inside there yet? Nope. Check it out. Trap. Nothing, huh? Hmm, beacon. Oh, 
Hurry! Some boxes. Power cells, it's nice. Might as well uh, go without the sea moth. I want to get another one destroyed. engine piece right there, or is that a bridge piece? Bridge. There's the engine. Boxes under here. Reaper can't get down here, can he? I can't see anything, it's nighttime. All right, we need one more hole piece. Oh crap, oh crap. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah, he was following me. What was this? He was tracking me. I don't think the hole's back there anyway. On the bridge and the engine. The last hole piece has got to be out here in the mushroom area.
Got to be around here somewhere. That's not it, is it? No, it's a door frame. should really try and get out of my way when they see me coming. Hardly my fault. Again, it's, you know, it's, it's like they're being magnetized to the sea moth here. See it. Hurry. There's gotta be a hole fragment out here. moon pool, right? Where could it be? Usually the first part I find, like all the hole fragments. Oh, there we go. That's it. Ta da! New blueprint acquired. All right. Whole thing. So that's that. We can make the Cyclops and the uh, the prawn suit. Can't mark these. Can I mark this? Oh, I just need to do this. We need three plastic steel for that, two for the prawn suit. Plastic steel, right? Yeah. So we're gonna need a bunch more titanium. We need five plastic steel. What can I make? I want to go and try and find the arms. Welcome aboard, Captain. I seem to remember a wreck that's hanging off a cliff somewhere. That's where I found the uh, stuff last time. Titanium? Oh boy. Oh yeah, we're out of titanium. Sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. I didn't know how bad, how many of you, I, I didn't know. We're now en route to your location. We're gonna bring you home. 
Sunbeam out. What else can I say? <laughs> the only time I parked a rig this big on a rock that small was in VR. And I blew it. It's a bad option, all right, but so are all the others. Snacky cakes. Wink, 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 wink. This planter is terrible. Grab a load of titanium and find the prawn shoot arm. The drill arm and the grapple arm. Where would they be? Plenty of titanium in the area, so I'm not worried about that. I do want to take a look for another wreck, though. I think there's one hanging off the edge over here somewhere. We'll go check out Life Pod 12. Maybe we'll find the wreck. ID says, but I never have been. <laughs> Cheated the medical exams. What does a doctor these days need to know about manually resetting bones? When was the last time a top surgeon actually cut someone open? That's what the robots are for. Doctors these days read diagnoses off of computer readouts. For that, I'm perfectly qualified. But what good is it when I'm not connected to the main network? I'm bleeding. I've got glowing green pustules growing on my hands. I run a self-scan and it tells me I've got skin irritation. The only thing I studied in medical school was how to lie convincingly. <laughs> what the hell do I know about how to treat an alien disease? I think I'm actually going to die down here. Detecting volcanic activity and several unusual electromagnetic signatures in the region. Exercise caution when diving deeper. Get away from me. Yeah, the Reaper's gonna attack me, isn't he? there's any wrecks down here. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Sorry! Where the hell am I? scans show a nearby opening, leading to a biome with extensive fossilized remains.
I'm in a cave. Oops. Well, this must be uh, where the Lust River is. The fossil? The Reaper fossil. Dead Reapers in here. There's no Rex in here. That's the last river. Maybe I can get some mushrooms. Leviathan. They can sneak under him. Deep enough for the deep shrooms. Oh, there's that lab. alien structure appears to have collapsed to the sea floor. Detecting an alien broadcast. Oh, can't bring the things with analysis me. reads, caution, hazardous materials and life forms contained within. Interior walls in this section are substantially reinforced, hey, indicating you know the designers we'll come back were here. seeking either to keep something out or contain it within. Whatever their intention, it clearly failed. Wanted to at least grab some mushrooms while I was in here, but we're not deep enough. Hmm. Take a dive in that hole right there. Maybe I could get some shrooms. Nope, they're not going to be down here. 
the way to the deep, deep area. Hmm. Thought the Lost River fit into that, uh... Oh, he saw me. Hmm. Oh, Ruby. The shrooms are in the Blue River area. Side tunnels. Can't see. I have no idea where I am. Is there a wreck up there? Not the Aurora, is it? Yeah, it is. Whoops. The light then. Let's go this way. my base yep it's my base okay we're gonna have to the next video we'll go look at the wrecks we're gonna have to stop this one welcome aboard captain at the very least I'll um for these things, where are they? One, where did I put the other ones? Did, 
stabbed them, didn't I? Where did I put them? Bitch, I had them all the whole time. Oh well. Could have done that base after all. The orange one is for the for door in the crater. It's also uh I think there might have been an orange door in that lab. Anyway, we'll check that out next time. Maybe that lab or I gotta go looking for Rex. I gotta find that those two arms for the prawn suit. And then build them and then build the, the Cyclops and the prawn suit. We'll do that next time. Anyway, if you made it this far, thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.